Hey everyone, so terrible lighting in here because I'm in the shop, but I'm going to show you how to repair a um, spindle on a coat rack. Our family has grown and this little old coat rack could not bear the weight of everything that was being loaded up on it. So one of these spindles broke off. You cannot just glue it on, it's going to come right off. If you're not using it, it might hold the weight of a hat. So what you need to do is get yourself some wooden dowel. So I've got some 5 16 wooden dowel, which is just about the right size for this. Um, I could probably go up to maybe three quarters of an inch. This is probably an inch thick. So here's what I've got going. I got a little chisel here and I'm just going to knock off the old glue and the old dowel that's on this to give a clean surface for my drill. Otherwise your drill wants to travel as you're going along. Now, because our family grew, we just decided to put up individual hooks on some oak board, and then it can handle all the weight for the entire family, and everyone's got their own double hook. Where with this, it had six hooks, but it just couldn't handle the weight of it. And I would say that this coat rack has been broken for way too long. So I've got it nice and smooth here now. And that's just a regular wood chisel. You can pick up at your hardware store and you can see I'm kind of chippy here. There was a repair on the bottom before I owned it. So what I've done is drilled out this bottom hole using a 5 16 inch drill bit. And you can do this in a vise or just by hand. And I just went into it and drilled it out a bit. Now, I have wood glue here somewhere. Half the job is getting everything that I need and I forget where I put things. So you just wanna make sure that your wood dowel is gonna fit in there, see? And eventually we're gonna glue this in. But I'm gonna put it into here first and then cut some off. Now, I've got this cut way longer than I need it because I have another project that I had it on hand for, which was super handy. So now we're gonna drill a 5 16 inch hole right into the coat, coat rack's main body. And the drill was, does wanna travel a little bit. So you start out slow, and you wanna give it some depth but not so much depth that you're going through to the other side or through to the other spindle. Because there's three on each level, I know that I'm going about a third of the way in. Now, I can see the beginning of the dowels from the other side, right there. So we're just gonna test this for depth, see that? All right, now you can do it on kind of an angle or straight out. My wood dowel, when I drilled it, naturally went on an angle anyway. So we're gonna put a little bit of wood glue on the dowel. You can put wood glue in the hole. Eye back. And if there is old wood glue on the rack, you can also clean that off just by scraping some of it off. And that's part of what was going on. I'm just sticking it right in there. Now, any wood glue is fine. This is tight bond wood glue, and it's just what I have on hand that I use for gluing my beehives. So oh, I've got it nice and glued. And a damp rag is handy for wiping off any excess glue. So I'm gonna just give it a little tap. To make sure it's in there nice and secure. So we can let this dry just like this and come back later on to put this on. Or, for the speed of things of this video, I can just go.
go ahead and make sure that I've got some depth here. And you want to leave it plenty long enough that it can withstand the length of your you want to make it plenty long enough so that it can withstand the weight of your coat because basically this is going to be doing your holding more and this is just going to cover it as a sleeve so we can make this as deep as we want without going through and i would say we're about an inch and a half in So I want to trim this. And you can just do this using a hacksaw. bit of barcode sticker on here. We're going to peel that off. It was unfortunate, but that's just how it was going to turn out. All right, and now So to get good gluing adhesion, it's really good to put glue on your wood dowel all the way around. I have a little one-year-old helper here for this. And again, you can wipe off any excess with a damp cloth, and now we're just going to slide that over this. It's so funny how these jobs sit around. Now you can tap this on. I'm just kind of spinning it on to make sure that it's not going to give me any trouble. Now when this glue dries, wood glue is always kind of brown, um, it will dry clear. So you uh -huh. So here you can see it's just sitting on here. Terrible, terrible lighting. I'm so sorry about this. All right, so there you go. We've got a seamless repair and you can't even hardly tell. When that dries, you won't even be able to see it. So now I can move on to this bottom part and see why I'm wobbling so much. But that's repairing with a wood dowel. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.